This is us to the Bureau of Environment and Ferry, and it's Tuesday, June 22nd, 2021. In this video, I'm going to be disclosing a uh, response of the Multicultural Center of the Hellenic Red Cross for Refugees, MFC, to my latest plea for help uh, from la uh, last uh, Tuesday, June 17, 2021. In fact, today on the bus, on my way to the Canadian Embassy, I realized that I didn't have internet on my phone anymore. This is why, for safety reasons, I had to change my change course to the downtown in order to get a new SIM card with internet first. Then, if there was still enough time, head back to the Canadian Embassy afterwards. I managed to get a SIM card at about 1 o'clock p.m., but the person who saw me the SIM card told me that uh, I had to wait for one and a half an hour in order to, for the SIM card to be activated, uh, which meant another one hour and a half, which by that time I couldn't, I mean, uh, would have been too, too, too late to get back to the Canadian Embassy, to go to the Canadian Embassy, because they normally close at uh, 4 p.m. So which is why afterwards I decided on heading back again to the National Library of Greece rather than going back to the Canadian Embassy. This is where I am right now at the National Library of Greece. This is in the corner. I have showed, showed you this place many times. This is where I use electricity and internet for uploading the videos because the videos have a lot of... Uh, they are big and it takes a lot of data. I can't use my internet. So, as my SIM card, you know, was activated, I received an email from the Multicultural Center of the Hellenic Red Cross for Refugees, MFC, which was sent in response to my earlier email to them from uh, Thursday 10, June 17, 2021. My email was basically a renewed plea for help regarding my accommodation, my survival, the need for legal aid, as well as seeking assistance regarding raising more signatures for my own petition. Um, I'm pretty much certain, though, if it wasn't for recording my latest visit to their office, same as all my previous emails sent um, to them over the course of these many years of this hostage taking and my society deprivation in Greece would have been completely neglected. But that aside, for some reason, they didn't directly reply to my email, which is why I, um, I sent a request for a reply to my original email, and as for the email they already sent, I could tell you, not only it was not helpful at all, as simply they showed the matter in the yard of other organizations, but astonishingly they also threatened to consider pursuing legal actions for videotaping my visit to their office. So below, before I share the context of their reply, here I would like to let you know I already drafted three emails which are going to be sent tomorrow to the three organizations they refer me to. I also kept them in copy in all the three emails. UNSCR will also receive all three emails in copy. Additionally, I also came across another international organization called Safe Place International that uh, apparently operates in Greece and uh, I've already sent them an email this evening and we'll be waiting if I ever hear back from them. So those being said, below is the reply from the Multicultural Center of the Hellenic Red Cross for Refugees, MFC, to my plea for help. I will also publish the original email in the comment section. So this is how their uh, email starts. Following your, re uh, your recent visit to our center and your email, we would like to provide you with information on our services regarding the requests you expressed and additionally with information on other organizations to which you could reach for assistance. Now they are bullet pointed and they reply. This is first one cash assistance. Hellenic Red Cruise is implementing cash assistance program in northern Greece 
for asylum seekers in collaboration with International Federation of Red Cross IFRC for recognized refugees in the Red Cross is not implementing any cash support program since, as you have informed us, you are a recognized refugee in Greece. You might be eligible to apply for the Social Solidarity Income SSI if you meet certain criteria. You could address this request in the Integration Center for Migrants of Municipality of Athens. They provide the link to their website, which I went to and I found the contact uh, details, email addresses, and so on. So, and as I said earlier, I, they are going to send, receive an email from me tomorrow. A second request for housing, also Hellenic Red Cross does not participate in the accommodation scheme for asylum seekers. The social service of the MFC Athens is undertaking housing application of asylum seekers for the ESTIA program. Recognized refugees can receive housing support through Helios program. Please visit the following link in order, in order to learn more information about Helios. This is, they also provide another link. This is a link to the IOM Greece um, uh, sector of the IOM Greece, which uh, again, I also drafted an email uh, which is going to be sent to them tomorrow. Uh, last, as our center provides legal guidance, then and the information through its migration, migrant advice various service, but it does not have a lawyer that can represent you in court. You can consult the site of the Athens Coordination Center for Migrant and Refugee, ACCMR issues through which you can find information on organization that might be able to provide you with legal organization representation. This is also another website which I went to. I mean, um, they say I could find another organization for legal aid, but I couldn't find anything. And that's where I, I found this, uh, uh, you know, Safe Place International. Lastly, please find below information on organizations and social groups that provide hot meals that can uh, uh, cover your most urgent needs. So these people, there are some organizations here, Hora, the social kitchen address, they brought an address, they operate from 1 to 3 p.m. Alos, Atoropos, their phone number, they operate from one uh, from 11, half past 11 to half past 1 p.m. Um, and uh, lastly, we, we, we reach, um, which they operate uh, only on uh, Saturdays, I think, uh, from half past 2 to 16 to 4 p.m. and uh, on Sunday from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. And that's how they close the email. We hope that this information is addressing your questions. I didn't ask for que uh, questions. I asked for help. This is how they reply. In case you need any further assistance, you can contact us in the following numbers. This is and they provide their own phone numbers. We have been aware that you and this is where they they threaten me to pursue uh, legal actions for videotaping my visit to their office. We have been aware that you have used footage and material from the space and staff of MFC attends without any giving consent to your personal social media pages and we ask you to withdraw those immediately. Otherwise, we will have to follow the required legal procedures. That's where, that's what they said. So, and that's the end of their message. Uh, this is what they are doing. I ask for help. They say uh, they send me to other organization, and the other organization will, will do the same, and this will continue forever. So, for some reason, in, for someone in my situation and in such a disgusting place, justice never seems to be served. This is one of the very reasons why I fear for my life, my safety, and well-being. 
in this country. I'm outside now, without shelter, without food, without money. You saw, they destroyed my shelter. They haven't given me a shelter. They even destroyed my shelter in front of the UNSCR office. And now this is how the situation is. Nothing like this should happen to anyone, anywhere. And no one should be put through a situation like this. This is a dire emergency. Please do not be indifferent and ignore what is happening here and take action now. I look forward to your kind solidarity and support in whatever way is possible. Thank you, and that will be it for this video. This is Assets of Europe and Vernil Ferry, and today is Tuesday, June 22nd, 2021. Uh, take care.